electronic music productions need squasher. This dynamic tool combines upwards and downwards compression for up to three bands, making it super flexible in many situations. Use it to help your lead sounds cut through the mix, tame aggressive bass lines, or enhance subtle spacey reverberation. Squasher is amazingly easy to use and it sounds fantastic. Let's give it a listen. If you want to add character, if you want to add pump, if you want to add excitement to your channels or even your master bus, Squasher is for you. Let me show you the interface very quickly. Here's the interface, the way it shows up by default and pretty much all the most important settings are there. Squasher has a downward compressor, as you can see here, and an upward expander. These two modules allow you to get this really aggressive in-your-face sound, especially useful for electronic dance music. Okay, this will bring up your reverb tails, it will make your sound sustain a little bit more and also you can get a lot of loudness, a lot of drive and a lot of excitement to your tracks. So let me show you how it works. Basically, right here, you select your upwards expansion, how much is going to lift up the lower sections of your channel or your track. And with a downwards knob, you can select how much compression we're going to have to our signal. And as you can see, we have three bands available. So this is all multiband. If I want, I can reduce the bands to just two or just one, no problem. I also have a mix slider here, so I can introduce the squasher sound as much as I want to my tracks. Now I can show even more parameters. If I click on this, I can see that we have attack, release, drive, we even have a gate per band, and we also have a separate mix slider per band. And as if that wasn't enough, we also have a separate sidechain section where we can choose sidechain inputs from either internal, which means that I can sidechain the low end of my track to the mids, okay? So when the low end hits, the mids get compressed or I can use an external sidechain option. So a lot of sonic power in Squasher. So let me try it first on a mix and let me show you how easily you can add a little bit of movement to a mix. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select absolute mode for my parameter link so I can control all three bands in the exact same way. Let's do that. Now I want to ask you to check my meters here on the master bus. You will see that even when I add squasher, we get all this perceived loudness, a little bit of drive, pump, movement, but my actual meters don't show this increase in gain. Check it out. It's like a different track. Now, if I want to tweak the settings a little bit more, I can maybe open the attack because this is a mix. So maybe I want to let those transients come through a little bit. Let's try that. And add some drive. And one thing that I love to do with Squasher is exaggerate, you know, just add all this in your face sound and then just blend it in. If it's a mix, maybe it's a good idea to try and blend this amazing sound into your mix. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, I think I don't need to say anything more. It sounds great, and as you can see, even without tweaking all those different parameters, you can get a great sound. Now for this second example, let me show you how you can enhance the tails, reverbs, the delays of your synths. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's add the score show now. So I can take a relatively polite sound that behaves and then just hands up, turn it into an arena sound, okay? Let's try it on these drums now and let's bring some movement and some drive to them. Did you see that profoundly new attack that these drums acquired with Squasher? So in a nutshell, this is Squasher, an instant classic for that in-your-face sound.